I got a little update on the torque arm I'm working on here. Uh, after a couple of days of uh, shaping things and uh, finding out what was wrong with it and this and that, I got the bike up here on the stand to get some work done here. And as you can see, I got the holes drilled out. I shaped it up a little bit. I still need to do a little bit more work. As you can see, I got some marks on it drawn with some permanent marker anywhere. I need to make a couple of little little cuts. I'm probably going to be shaving this bottom section down a little bit so it doesn't have to be that big because my axle spots about up here. So, but uh, everything's coming out good so far. I'm gonna clean up this inside edge a little bit more right in here. I'm not too happy with that. But everything seems to be working out. I just uh, cleaned up the back side of it with an angle grinder. Got to clean up a little more work. I ended up having to make this little notch right here because my disc brake caliper was uh, hitting the bracket. And by cutting that like I did when I put my brake back up and on here, it, uh, it just misses it now. It goes right up and in there. All right, I finally finished the left torque arm. Uh, took quite a bit of time to get it all right and size it up the way I needed it to be. Needed to use a lot of tools. I used a couple files, an uh, angle grinder, sawzall, jigsaw, uh, Dremel tool. You know, you name it, I had to use it on this thing. But uh, came out pretty good. I uh, also. It's going to be just like that and there's just enough clearance for my suspension and it fits right onto my axle good and everything lines up I shortened it down on the bottom a little bit and just uh, sanded it all up now uh, I guess it's time to try to design the right side but uh, I'll show you a quick little fit on the axle of the bike itself or well, the hub motor rather because I kept coming over here to size it and fits on nice and snug. And you can see it right there. That's what it'll be like. This is the wrong side of it, but I'm not going to sleeve it through all the wires just to show you that it fits on the other side. Should be the same. But uh, just one more to do, and then we can start getting this hub back on the bike. Uh, I also took off my front forks today because I should be uh, able to put on my downhill forks and I'm getting my new front uh, wheel fairly soon. It's got to be a 20 millimeter through axle hub so I had to change out my front wheel. But everything's going good and uh, we should be up and running in no time. I'm going to be mounting my battery packs on a long two inch aluminum bar that you can see underneath my bike and those Allen bolts are going to be holding that in place, as well as some other hardware. But uh, I started designing my second torque arm, which is going to be the more difficult one. It uh, is going to be positioned above the derailleur. And it's going to be a little harder to make. It's going to be a little smaller and probably not as sturdy, but I got it all drawn out here on my piece of galvanized that I'm using to cut out. And as you can see, I made a bunch of changes with it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and start working on that one. Hopefully uh, it'll work out as good as the other one did. The other one, uh, I made it larger than I wanted to at first, and then I just shaved it down little by little and made it all fit into place perfectly. So hopefully we can get this one going. I got my orbital jigsaw that I'm going to cut it out with, and after that I can start shaving it down with a right angle and a Dremel tool and a few other things that I'll need. Okay, after a quick cut with the old orbital jigsaw, we shaved down that piece of metal to this. And I had to put a tiny little hole through where the axle would be going, just so I could screw it down to the bench and work with it. Uh, my C-clamps that I have are so large that I couldn't even get the jigsaw in around to cut the piece because the C-clamp was in the way. So, by drilling a hole through there and screwing it down to the table on the corner of it, I was able to uh, get the rest of the cuts in. So this fits on the bike the way it is. I'm going to have to do a couple of modifications to it. Uh, I can show it to you right now how it fits on the bike. So 
it's going to fit right down in there like so I'm still not sure how I'm going to be uh, applying this one but for now it fits and uh, I'm going to keep doing some work to it and uh, hopefully we can get it uh, squared away and get the hub motor back on the bike and there's a shot of it with the, the front forks ripped off of it. I had to flip it around so I get to this side of the uh, swing arm. It's in pieces.